Jam. Today I'm going to be cooking spumpkins. Filled with an evil venison Cajun stew. <laughs> a little pumpkin stewed, then spanked. You will need two pounds of venison haunch diced, four small cooking pumpkins, one cup carrot diced, two cups potato diced, one can of chopped tomatoes, two sticks of celery, two cups of red wine, one quarter cup of flour, one onion diced, one jalapeno diced, six okra sliced, two minced cloves of garlic, Louisiana hot sauce, olive oil, teaspoon of black pepper, teaspoon of sea salt, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of thyme and a teaspoon of basil. Two beef stock cubes for four cups of water and one bay leaf. Okay, we'll start with a dash of a tablespoon. Chuck in your venison. Brown off about a pound first of your venison. The more room you can give the meat, the better, really. Got the second batch on now, and keeping it Cajun as I can, I have a, a banjo cooker. So these will be all along the sides of the swamps, frying up fish and uh, crab and gator, probably. The most certain people. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just chuck it in the rest of that up brown. Once all browned, remove. Time to swap to our Dutch oven. Now we're ready for your onions and your garlic. Chopped tomatoes. Two cups of red wine. Four cups of beef stock. Now we're going to chuck in our flour. One quarter cup. Get that all dissolved. We're going to chuck in bay leaf. All of your herbs. Salt, pepper, jalapenos. Just incorporate all of that. Please don't touch the venison. I'll give you some later. Since Mr. Frodo the cat is here, I'm going to put in the venison and with the juices. Let's get all of our veg in now. Add a teaspoon of I am pepper, got the real deal here, Louisiana. Plot sauce. Okay, well, I'm gonna give this a good stir. So this now, we will bring to the boil. Once it is boiled, we're then gonna chuck it in the odor. Get some smoke on it. Then the okra will disappear because it's over the cook, but it will act as a thickener and add to the flavor. While the stew is coming to a boil, just get the smoker to 350 Fahrenheit. Okay, once at 350, we'll chuck in without the lid on the Dutch oven. Dutch oven in. We're ready to go for about an hour. What I've done is I've decorated the pit here. I'm going to get Ralphie to come and help me. Get these ready for the stew. Then we'll have a go out for carving a pump. <laughs> Here we go, we've got Ralphie. How old are you, Ralphie? Six. Oh, that's good. Right. Okay. So, that's good in the sense that you can carve a pumpkin, but you're going to have to let me do the knife bit first, okay? So, we'll get you a little pumpkin and just make a lid. Now, the best way to do this is just angle and down. Pop! It's the fun bit. Your job is to scoop out all of the insides. Oh, don't worry, it's all right. We're outside. We can make as much mess as we want out here. We used an ice cream scoop, didn't we, Ralph? He's done a great job. 
So if you could show the folks at home what it looks like inside. Okay, a little bit closer. And yeah, I think they can see that, that's good. Okay. Right, now, now for the rest. Outstanding job, all ready to be filled up the stew when it's done. Oh yeah, real tender, real good pumpkin comes off nice. Really good, really good at that. Lovely. Mm. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. I love venison. <laughs>